What do these four diseases have in common? They are chronic lung diseases, also known as CLDs, which are a group of diseases that affect the lungs. Common chronic lung diseases include asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder characterized by airway hyperresponsiveness and obstruction in the lungs. To put asthma into perspective, an estimated 300 million people were affected by asthma just in the year 2004. Globally, asthma accounts for a quarter of a million annual deaths. COPD is characterized by airflow limitation. According to the World Health Organization, the disease affects 210 million people. Globally, COPD is projected to be ranked as the fourth leading cause of death by 2030. Most patients with CLD do not have satisfactory treatment options that effectively target the underlying disease mechanism. This review series will be an introduction and overview of the drug development processes for CLDs. Not limited to preclinical aspects, it will highlight novel delivery systems and promote strategies that limit unwanted systemic side effects. What are the objectives of the Respirology Review Series and what exactly do you hope to achieve? This series wants to uh, give a brief insight into the complexity of developing uh, drugs for chronic lung disease. And uh, this is a very different approach compared to acute lung disease, uh, mainly because of the timelines that are involved. So a trial in an acute disorder, of course, takes a few weeks, whereas a trial in a chronic lung disorder may take a year or even longer. Uh, it is very complex by the lack of good animal models, because animal models usually have to be quick and it's very challenging to model a disease that takes years to develop in an acute setting in the lab. And of course, a lot of uh, these drugs that modify chronic lung disease will be costly, so there will be challenges on regulators. There will be uh, the input of patient advocacy groups required in order to make our health systems uh, aware of these problems and also understand the sometimes more excessive costs. Why is there currently a lack of satisfactory treatment options for chronic lung disease and how can this be addressed effectively? Well, I think that that's a very complex uh, question and basically one of the major hurdles is that we don't understand why some people get these diseases and we don't really understand why some people progresses like they progress. So until we have figured out the biological mechanisms involved in progression of disease, it's very difficult to target. How can the knowledge gap between the scientific community and a layperson be addressed? Well, I think that's, that's what we, we want to do. We want to invite to discussion, to get all the different parties to the same table and listen to each other. The, there has to be clinicians around the table, it has to be patients, uh, basic scientists, it has to be pharmaceutical companies and regulatory uh, people around, around the table to get these discussions where you need them to be. And in your opinion, what do you think is the future outlook for drug development for chronic lung disease? I think that we will see a lot more interactions between all the different parties involved and that that will help move it forward in a much more faster way. If we can convene evidence-based research from multiple disciplines and involve stakeholders from every step of the development stages, we can ensure that this is not mission impossible. By working together, this is mission possible.